All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, yeah, same old, same old. Five hours of sleep last night, I think. At least you know I did went to bed early, but I still cannot figure out why my body requires so little sleep. I feel mostly fine right now. All right, I still have my vitamin C chewables. I don't know. Um, but again, I am losing a lot of weight, so again, maybe the effects of my normal diet, which is around 15, 1800 calories. I've actually been uh, lowering my calories, and that's actually having an effect now. Like basically too much energy. Because I've noticed my inflammation problems also getting a lot better now that I'm losing weight, so everything's going well. So <clears throat> maybe that just means I need to uh, lower my calorie intake even more. Definitely going to be uh, <clears throat> experimenting with that. Hmm. So anyway, um, did absolutely no research. So we're just going to dive right in, and also I kind of want to just keep this video short today as well. Um, now that the now that the coin is out, I can probably start talking about Ricks. Uh, you know, what? I'm just going. Uh, I'll just do it this way. Uh, Markic. Hmm. I love these vitamin C chewables from Kirkland Signature. They give you so much, it tastes great. And it's like ultra cheap too. There you go. Oh wow, it's right down to 260. Alright, so this is actually the coin that Mitch created. That I plan on uh, going into. Uh, but of course, it's it just got released like I guess a couple hours ago, so I'm just gonna wait on the price to you know settle down. And it looks like Greg's having trouble here. So uh, this is where I'm gonna be converting all my compound coin, my hive coin, my steam eventually uh, into this. All right, uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna put a buy order somewhere around 150 because this should be worth more than two by two coin, but less than 404 simply because of the max supply i think right now let me check let me check the council um current supply of ricks get info is 3.4 million 16,996 so the apr on this is like 307 or 365 percent i don't know it's like it's a little all over the place but basically it's the same thing as all the other coins um and Mitch, uh, and I did not pay for the listing fee for this, so um, uh, Mitch's investor did it, so it's pretty nice. So hopefully that means that his investor can also just simply handle all the stuff I would normally do, money-wise. Uh, and then, you know, it's just nice, because like, right now I just, I, ha I actually need to simplify my, my um, you know, my little mining operation here. So that's why I'm dumping compound. I mean, it's just it's just not making enough money. It's like the, the minting sucks. I grow the stack and I'm still only able to pull out like 28.88 million. That's why it's like, it's like, what the hell? And like APR is 250. It's actually much less than that. So it's like, why am I still staking this coin? So, but I mean, it is still a good stable coin, right? It's essentially a stable coin. So it's like, yeah, all right. But, you know, we're not looking for a stable coin. We're looking for, a, you know, high profit proof of stake coin that's, uh, stable enough that we know that it's a legitimate project and the devs and people are going to keep working on it. So, yeah, so that's now we can have our nice little pick. Like, this is why it's important to always keep an open mind, like, just keep a lookout for, like, all this other stuff. That's why I never believed in Bitcoin maximalism or any kind of coin maximalism. That's, like, the most retarded. It's it's like chopping off your leg. Like, well, my left leg is great, so why do I need my right leg for it? Just chop it off. It's like that's exactly what people do. All right, just just take in everything that you want. That's it. It's like a buffet, right? All you can eat. In this case, it's all you can eat. Get rich, all right? Well, or at least have a stable income, all right? You know, like you, what the hell is this? Oh great, it looks like they're. Oh, I think it's my fucking. Uh... Yeah, it's just Yahoo being fucking retarded. Hopefully, it'll load up properly because it's it was working like ten minutes ago. So, um, I don't know, what, what was I rambling about? Uh, something about a buffet and, oh yeah, so, yeah, and so normally when I have financial troubles, right, in the past, I don't know what to do, because like, like, oh, I'm trying to create cash flow, but I can't. 
Well, now it's different. It's like, oh yeah, just 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 get more assets here, All right? It was always irritating because like, you know, where do I get these assets? I'm also poor. I need to acquire assets. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? It's like, and I lived in New York. I still live in New York City. So like, I have like a couple hundred bucks, but the, to get the assets I want, I have to spend like millions. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Like, how is anyone supposed to do anything with that? Like, this is this is why cryptocurrency is such a great thing. It's granular. It's 100% scalable. It's got literally everything you could possibly want, right? The only downside is, yeah, the way you're making your money is through hyperinflation. So the price does go down. That's why you have to pull out your money, right? That's actually a requirement, right? Otherwise, you'll actually lose money, right? But it's not that hard, right? Just buy, and then I guess depending on how you want to do it, maybe do 100. In my case, I'm probably going to do 100% compound very quickly, and then after, and I have to look at the prices. And of course, I'm doing videos about it, so I'm just going to do the research anyway. And then he's like, yeah. So let's say, let, let, I'm not buying now, but let's say I bought at 260, right? 260 Satoshi of Bitcoin, and it drops to 130. Well, I've just lost 50%. But because I'm printing more coins, I could just sell a little bit every day and get back that loss, and then eventually get back my original principal. All right, so let's say I put in like three thousand dollars i don't know how much my i mean it's 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 gonna be i think that's about what it is it's like i mean to me it's like yeah three grand but it's gonna grow into like basically you know it's six times the amount that i got with uh <laughs> with 808 coin when i started right now we're basically we're actually in the pre-boom phase right if things go as normal you know pending the election of course uh the boom should start resuming basically at the end of this year so november december then anyway, they'll probably ha have to kick off after the american presidency because as long as trump is in office uh that's going to present like uncertainty for a lot of investors because is he going to win is he going to win re-election is he not is joe biden going to be president you know blah 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 so yeah uh but yeah new new good coin we'll be covering this now uh we're going to eventually uh phase out compound coin um because i tried playing greedy i saw that it went up to 13k so i tried to put in a sell order at 13k it, it went horribly and someone just dumped all their coins at like the seven or eight thousand mark so i just just like ah fuck. so i won't make that same okay um i better remember to turn this back on is it a problem with my okay it's a problem with the fucking proxy yeah yeah, I can't, I'm starting to get kind of annoyed with fucking, uh, fucking Australia, uh, not Australia, uh, Tunnel Bear. All right, so, all right, we'll do that. All right, um, all right, so first things first, Bitcoin interest for this week has uh, dropped to 10. So the normies are just completely out of the game again. That's why they're the normies. They're just like, uh, well, cryptocurrency is worthless. So, and then they wonder why they're fucking poor, so. Bitcoin down 64.9%, but hopefully, but obviously you are not, like the few of you that are actually watching this. 24 hour volume is 66 billion. Bitcoin's at 94.81. Litecoin's at 44.50. And good old doggy coin is 310.6 million market cap. So that's actually not too bad, but pretty much the same as it's always been. I guess I'm not expecting too many changes. Looks like markets are pretty neutral today. Rebels at 390, so that's good. Uh, consumer spending comes back with a vengeance in May. That was from yesterday. Stocks paced toward fourth straight sessions of gains. Uh, additional stimulus. I do want to read that. Excuse me. Additional semi. Uh, housing starts jump in 4.3% May, so that's actually very good. So yeah, so things are going uh, back up unlike trump's poll numbers which is kind of interesting uh i can't be held responsible to totally. that's actually true uh but also day trading is inherently a losing proposition right you know it's like you have a 99.9 percent .9 chance to lose it's just it's just a scam essentially Bay Street's Wall Street, Wall Street, Bagger, C-Stock, AT&T, plans to cut, so, ah, interesting. AT&T plans to cut thousands of jobs closer to company tells union. Uh, I actually want to read this. So again, this is why unions are going to be kind of worthless in the future. All right? Automation, immigration, uh, art, I, did I say artificial intelligence? Yeah, artificial intelligence. You know, all that good stuff, right? All the stuff that Andrew Yang was warning us about, it's, it's already happened. It's in the pro. It's already, it's happening right now. It's in the process of happening. 
Why do I keep getting... I don't know why it keeps doing this. At least they got a pretty hot uh, white blonde model, though. Urban One stocks, rockets, and heavy volume oh, get a hit. Okay, Tesla Panasonic. Uh, oh yeah, when I, when I was a lot younger, um, I was still living in Chinatown, right? My childhood friends, right? His, one of them was named Henry. All right, Henry and Andy. He actually told me that he would go to like uh, Chinatown, and he would there would usually be knockoff products, right? So someone actually, so he actually told me the story of like I think it was a camera, or I don't remember what the electronic thing was, but it said. Panasonic on it. <laughs> uh, so, so, like, I don't know how they spell this. So I think maybe they added two O's in it. So obviously it was just a ripoff of Panasonic. Uh, so every time I see Panasonic, I always say Panasonic. <laughs> uh, funny. Tesla and Panasonic agree on a three-year battery deal. Hmm. Well, I kind of like Elon Musk, so I don't know. I guess we could... I just want to take a look real quick about the battery. Uh, what is this? Do you have any details about the battery? Chinese battery maker, blah, 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 working on a so-called million mile battery, which can last as long as 16 years and 1.24 million miles. Uh, Tesla shares traded a little lower. Wow, that's a pretty impressive battery. Uh, okay, it's a bit strong demand for the battery. Yeah, because like one of the problems supposedly with the Tesla is it just doesn't store enough charge, I think, or something. So you need a really powerful battery. But you can only make the battery so big because obviously the car has to be, you know, a standard size, right? Uh, crew stocks are Norwegian extends departure suspensions. I don't care. So, okay, so not much here. All right. Uh, so JMC 7 8 as usual. Uh, you know, just get ready for the swap. I think we'll make the announcement in a couple of weeks. Because uh, Mitch is obviously still, uh, you know, coming off of this project, the Infinite Ricks, which is based on Rick and Morty. So it's a nice little gimmick. 404 is solid as usual, 339, 370, probably more. 2x2 two two coin has actually dropped to 72 to 70 or 75 or something like that. Um, there's also some big buy orders. It could be because of the max supply, but it's also because Rick's just came out today. So it went... It came down as soon as Rick's came uh, came online, so people might just be dumping two by two just to get some Rick's. So that's, that's just how it goes. And then Rick, uh, obviously the price is just going to be all over the place. So again, I'm waiting for one twenty to one fifty. It's got to be worth more than two by two, though. That's one hundred percent, but less than four hundred four, right? Because again, max supply. So I don't really want to do the math, but I just can't, but I mean, I did the math. So basically 150 to 200 is the range I'm looking at. Uh, so, well, I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll, I'm probably going to have to, because I still have, I still have to phase, phase down my compound coin. So that's just going to take at least a couple weeks. Uh, compound coin. I, you know what? To be honest, I don't want to even cover this coin anymore. So, yeah. Uh, oh, I already hit the refresh on that. Let's see. Don't care. Don't. Great. Bitcoin wallets sell big on quiet share for attention. Uh, yeah, don't care. Uh, number of Bitcoin wallets have risen 2% since halving. Uh, Bitcoin for Burst Star, River Financial Series is 5.7. Um, is a Bitcoin based bank. Okay, so this is actually, pre I'm not going to read the article. This is actually pretty good. As much as I like to rip on the boomers, and I still totally do, it's still important that at least someone, that's probably not me. Still tries to, you know, reconcile with them and try to get at least a couple of those idiots to stop being idiots and embrace cryptocurrency. So, uh, I'm glad for this River Financial pl uh, Place. Plus, it says they're a Bitcoin-based bank. So, I guess if I need a bank and I make my money off of crypto mining, you know, I should go. I should keep these guys in my River Financial. I almost thought it was it Regions Financial RF, right? Because they share the same initials. Are these guys publicly traded? <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay. All right. All right. That's the end of that. Bitcoin might difficult to post biggest jump in 29 months. Coin desk. Hmm. Well, the price still hasn't gone up yet. China reveals East Asia crypto scheme were scammed to rival Bitcoin, Facebook, Libra, and the U.S. dollar. Uh, oh, so they're talking about China coin. Uh, yeah, I guess we could read it. I, mean, I don't really feel like reading it, but oh God, okay, of course you're. Of course, got this. 
I, I just love how it just likes to double. Even though I didn't press anything, I was just moving my mouse. It's, it still doubles the whatever. Uh, blah, blah, blah. blah. Okay. Top mm. characters here. Big loss of press to it. No. Uh, this is such a retarded prediction. I, I wish it would be true, but that's just not going to happen. No, you will lose. No, US dollar will crash. They're trying to trigger Bitcoin or crypto bull or predicts former. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Dollar has been American dollar has been predicted to crash for a long time with X Y Z percent. I mean, the only time it's only different again is demographics changes. But of course, no, nobody talks about it except like a couple of us. Bitcoin property sales sell record one point one eight says Turkish real estate firm. Wow, so it looks like Bitcoin is pretty big in Turkey. Interesting. All right, uh, okay, I'm just getting sick and tired of seeing that. All right, so yeah, same thing as usual, 14%, you know, I guess that's better. Um, but again, Trump's not going to have his rally until this Saturday, and I assume that's the first of many rallies. So I'm going to have to wait till basically one month before. Uh, uh, okay, uh, it's going to get worse. Uh, I uh, what you call it? I'm sorry, get I'm sorry, get a little groggy. I didn't get enough sleep. I can't. I'm have too much energy. It's like a really annoying feeling. But you know, again, as I said in yesterday's description for the YouTube video, as long as Trump, like if Trump does like these kind of rally, his normal rallies for like a month, right? It'd be interesting to see if his poll numbers change. Because so far, nothing's changing. The economy's getting better, so his numbers should be going up, but they're not. So. Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, okay. Yeah, I'm actually curious. If Trump loses the election, will he accept the results? I'm actually kind of curious about that. If I were actually him, I would just not accept the results. Just say, fuck everybody. Right? You know. Like, what does Trump have to lose at the point? He's already lost. So, might as well go all the way. Great why our son's looking down. Oh, God. Uh... Uh, yeah, I remember the leader of the group I was very, very emotional. What, what was pretty upset about this. Throughout the, um, the whole um, conference. All right, I don't, I don't uh, Florida coronavirus, it looks like they're attacking conservatives in Florida again. What speaks louder than words? Executive order. Uh, he's pounding pretty hard here. Um, Okay. Well, at least Trump hasn't really. So the good news is he's tweeting a lot less, and the few things that he does seem to be tweeting at least seems to, you know, try to fake empathy at least. So, you know, and yeah, Trump kind of needs to do this. So, you know, and I'm glad he stopped bashing China so much because literally, first of all, all the fucking people complaining and rioting, they're not, they don't say any, they're not even thinking about China at this point. They're thinking about the riots, they're thinking about the police brutality, they're thinking about, like, everything else but China, right? <clears throat> so, you know, and on top of that, they're, they're saying, this is about racism. So, like, the last thing you want to do is actually perpetuate that. So, I think Trump's finally got through his goddamn th the stick, a thick skull. You know, but whether it'll save his re-election chances, we'll have to just see. Obviously, as much as I want to see Trump punished for his stupidity, I do need his ass, dumbass, back in the White House. And after that, I, I don't want anything to do with him. Stock market news. Uh, okay, so stocks rose. Okay, all right. Uh, prospect for more stimulus. Yes, you're gonna need it. Hopes of. First of all, if Trump knows he's in a lot of trouble, he should probably do another like twelve hundred dollar check or whatever shitty check that we all got. All right. In hopes of coronavirus. All right. Uh, during Tuesdays, we're gonna say I have baby. Okay. Okay. This isn't this, isn't this from yesterday? Yeah. This she's saying she's repeating the exact same shit from yesterday. Uh, okay, this this is exactly the same article from yesterday. Uh, AT&T plans to cut thousands of jobs, and then what's just this one? China. Okay, all right. So I could probably end it on this one, the Forbes article. AT&T is planning to cut off thirty four hundred more jobs and cut it. Hey, the one that was mainly reunion. Okay, next time is applied probably close two fifty. So we're pack about thirteen hundred. Yeah. Saying that all going to have locked in the curve. I have changed customer behaviors. Everyone's shopping online. We're closing some retail stores. We reflect the thing. Well, all these plans are not new. They've accelerated the coronavirus pandemic. So this is actually why... Yeah, so this is actually... Yeah, so even though it hurt the globalists quite well, you know, they'll still weather the storm. 
right? And again, as I've said, unions are useless. Even though technically I'm part of one, like the Screen Actors Guild, but I kind of had to. So, you know, yeah. Like, I mean, the only union that could possibly survive would be the Screen Act. Anything related to arts and entertainment because, you know, robots um, and artificial intelligence cannot replace human creativity, at least not yet. Uh, and then immigration doesn't really affect that too much. Well, maybe it kind of does because you have too many people working in as background, right, as actors. Uh, but, you know, and not enough jobs. So actually, yeah. So yeah, only immigration really hurts you, uh, unions directly. Uh, um, the Screen Actors Guild, if, uh, you know, we're talking uh, arts and entertainment, so... Company said most employees will be offered an alternative position with the company. Okay, so they're not really cutting off that many jobs. Executive manager will be affected along with non payroll. Okay, company is offering salaries, pay health care for blah blah. Company uh, find an employee. Let's see what's everyone doing. The end game for online shop is a nearly labor free supply chain for manufactured customer consumer. Yes, yeah, exactly it. Of course, on last kind of will be needed to host the integration. It will be lost in the video. Well, if you will truly benefit, yes, cost will be. Uh huh. Uh, greed is winning. It's not just greed. It's just like I don't want to fucking deal with it. Like I still, I still have not received my T-shirts. Right? I haven't even received a reply from, uh, you know, the the leader of the Griper uprising sore right i mean i'm having a hard time believing that they're going to formulate anything if they can't even you know provide me or even any other uh, other customers their you know merchandise right i mean i think i spent like how much how much because i bought two t-shirts so how much did i i'm pretty sure it was like 44 48 bucks 47 dollars and 98 cents now i understand it's because of coronavirus but i mean i still see shirts for sale at Target. I still see shirts for sale everywhere else. So I mean, yeah, it's yeah, it doesn't feel. There's a reason why I've become a little, quite negative and cynical about like you know whole democracy shit. The future of conservative uh, Republicans. It's like it's 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 just a completely different level. And I'm like thinking, you know, there's like kind of no point. Now, I didn't listen to a guy named Jacob Lloyd's uh, D Live. He actually made some pretty good points. The problem is, um, like, uh, you have to go to like these Republican club meetings, and you have to show up for the meeting. So it's has like, hey, so basically, there's no scale. It's completely against everything that I normally do, which is I want everything online, and I want it to just be a push button thing. And it's like, can we even meet online? And apparently, you can't. Right, like there's some there's something so fundamentally wrong with our electoral system that it's like, you know, I have to real. It's like it's just annoying and a disaster. It's like the Republican clubs seem to operate as an autonomous unit, right? Um, I guess maybe bef like if I'm really serious, before I go to the floor, and maybe what I want to do is go check out like a couple Republican clubs, maybe one. Uh, and then also join a Democrat club, right? The, the left-wing equivalent, right? Because they have Democrat clubs here in New York City. Obviously, there's a lot more of them. And I just want to compare and contrast, like, both the people, like, the way their mindset works, and the process. Is the process actually the same for both for both clubs? Do they all have to show up for the actual meeting? Can they do it online? You know, because I would not be surprised if the Democrat clubs are more harmonious work together and they do as much shit online as humanly possible whereas the conservative part of the republican clubs don't and then everyone wonders why we can't fucking win anything or get anything done and on top of that everyone's you know the problems don't even know about the infinite game either most people uh, yeah most people don't but democrats usually win on that front so there's more of them that know about the infinite game than republicans so i don't want to get into that rant but yeah, a lot of work to be done. Of course, I have, but I mean, at least the, but the Jacob Lloyd guy did at least say, yeah, if you don't think your vote counts or matters, which would be me, especially in my case, because it's New York City, uh, then it that can matter in a certain way, right? That's what those Republican clubs are for. It's like, okay, all right, now I'm seeing, now I'm seeing potential, but I mean, it needs a lot of work. Uh, but the two, uh, this probably helps, wait, uh, I don't, wait. 
Well, the two AT&T stores I've always been, been that I've been to seem over time almost always empty, other than the days in which Apple releases a new iPhone. This is probably a healthy move. Yeah, like why do you even need to go to a physical store, right? It's like, yeah. like, like um, I don't want to say the mobile carrier, but like a lot of the mobile carriers, they have very small stores. I always wondered, huh? But now I know why, right? Because they're gonna run into the same problem as AT and T. All right, uh, but for the most part, this is actually a somewhat deceptive uh, article, simply because they're gonna re reemploy most of this. Yeah, they're gonna re they're gonna reemploy most people. So, China reveals uh, China coin. Uh, Poirot, it's uh, China coin is uh, going around it's trying to keep up the changing era. Right? Kicked off Bitcoin a little or they can turbo charge for it. Right? Now, influential group in China has revealed plans for China coin that could see a basket cur currencies combined to take on Bitcoin, Facebook, and even the US dollar. Okay. Why do they have to do a basket of currencies? That's the one that I never did understand. Proposal for a Bitcoin inspired China coin that would include the Yuan, the Yen, and the South Korean one and Hong Kong dollar put forth this Monday at a meeting at the Chinese People's. Uh, uh cpp uh plans put together by 10 members of the advisor drew attention to the president no other co-founder china china c trip and put it now okay the regional crypto is expected to be backed by all four major currencies but way to their economic scale with china's yuan and japan's yen account for 60 percent and 20 percent respectively Start the scale will cross the border pit to ease international trade at a time when US China territory and the US dollar are using its dollar and to sanction adversarial countries. Proposal comes oh yeah, so yeah, so everyone's always talking about how China manipulates their currency. Well we kinda of do the same shit too, so it's kinda of like how everyone wants to bitch about like Hong Kong or Taiwan or China and lack of freedom there. Well, I mean, maybe they should be bitching about the lack of freedom here in America, right? Because in China, you can criticize literally everything and everybody. You just cannot criticize the Chinese government. Here, if you cr criticize certain groups, you criticize Black Lives Matter, you criticize any of them, you lose your job, you get deplatformed off of social media. They take away your bank account, your money, they take away everything, right? And I'm supposed to fucking believe that we're a free country, you know? Oh, and other nations are not. It's like such bullshit. And I'm like so pissed that in general conservatives and republicans still fall for that stupid shit right? like, oh yeah we should go after china we should go after you know whatever so i mean saudi arabia it's, it's like shut the fuck up man it's just, it just it just pisses me off so much proposal that's also one of the reasons why i'm thinking if i ever do like as jacob boy said take over the republican party i actually want to be a lot more aggressive about it i don't really give a shit just start purging people like if they're not going to get with the program then they just kick them out like because i'm willing to be reasonable you can have your job you just do as we say you don't want to do that then find another job all right you're not going to get free shit anymore all right and if uh depending on the laws if that's the case then what i'll do is i'll just create an even bigger republican club and suck in all the energy and you know attention and money and whatever right and then just take it away from you that way all right so you can have your little shitty club but then nobody will go to it other countries around the world including norway sweden japan are all working on digitizing their own currencies oh yeah so norway sweden coin japan coin. oh yeah japan yeah, we never hear much about Japan making Japan coin. And in Europe, I know a lot of European countries are like accelerating their crypto coins. So, I like America, of course, where we're not doing shit still, All right? But there are there are things in the works apparently based on you know previous articles we've covered in the past. But I haven't we haven't heard anything about it because obviously, boomers. China's rapid expansion of the digital currency program has led to earning calls for US to be a development of America coin. However, regular regular regulator intervention in Libra means it could eventually function effectively as a digital dollar equivalent. Interesting. So they want to use Facebook's Libra. I don't like that because it's not that's it's gotta be decent. I like, for all the faults of fiat, fiat currency is more or less decentralized. If you have a if you have like a hundred bucks in your pocket, American or a hundred or ten thousand Turkish lira, I think that's what the name. Yeah, it's Turkish lira, right? I mean, it's gonna be all. It's gonna be very hard for them to just come in and then like you know take away your money, or right? unless you do something really stupid and obvious. But for the most part, it's decentralized in a way, right? It's yours. It's private. 
Nobody knows you have it unless you tell people about it and you just spend it on whatever in person. Right? Facebook's Libra is centralized. It does not do that. If Facebook does not like you, they'll just cut off all your money. And then they'll just do exactly what Steam and Hive do. Uh, you know, just shut out your account. Right? It's, it's fucking bullshit. It's a scam. It's a scam. Uh, Unveil of Revive Plan. Enable it. We'll see a separate issue separate coins back by individual fiat currency with dollar and euro. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, Mark Mark Zuckerberg is uh, Zuckerberg or Betaberg. God, it's, it, his last name has got like so easy to like manipulate, and there's something wrong. Oh my god! I I just love how all the fucking ads on Forbes, despite the ad block. Oh, actually, I think I was forced to turn off ad block. Uh, all right, let's put a picture of Trump here. Uh, what you call it? Like how you can make fun of face, uh, Mar, uh, Facebook and Mark's names with like all sorts of whatever. Zuckerberg, Baderberg, Loserberg, um, Fuckerberg. Um, yeah, I guess you could do, no, I don't know, stupid and idiotberg doesn't really, uh, it's not smooth. Doesn't sound smooth, so, um, what's the one I'm thinking of? Uh... I don't know, I might have already said it. But anyway, I'm sorry, I'm still getting, I'm starting to get groggy, even though it's 10 a. What is it, 10, 17 a.m.? Oh, God, I, re I really just want, like, a good night's solid night's rest, right? But again, I don't know why there's so much energy. Anyway, if you like what you saw, I've read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from where you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash the subscribe on the right hand side of this page so we can continue uh, growing this channel. Uh, infinite bricks. I'm actually. Uh... <clears throat> oh, okay. So it is 300, 307% APR uh, a year. It looks like Mitch uh, updated the headline thread. So, yeah, I have to add this to my YouTube video descriptions for the default section. So, uh, anyway. Uh, Oh yeah, or uh, yeah, so subscribe, smash the uh, like button on the, or whatever button on the right hand side of the page. Uh, and then yeah, let's try to grow this channel. Uh, where is settings for this? Playlist dashboard. Uh, God, I don't, oh, okay, Mike under settings, upload defaults. Yes, there we go. Uh, upload defaults. Well, we're gonna get rid of compound coin and then we're gonna write, uh, let's see. No, I don't even have JMC. Oh, I do have JMC. Infinite Ricks coin. Uh, 307% APR forever. Uh, forever. Oh, it looks like I don't even... Yeah. Oh, well, there we go. 2 by 2 for JMC. Infinite Ricks coin. All right. Uh, A, N, N. There we go. So that should be Impressions click-through rate is up 4%. Uh, people on YouTube are choosing to watch this video more often than usual. Oh, that's good, because there's like, what, seven people that watch. Anyway, enough for the day. I'm going to go take a nap, then make myself pizza. All right. I actually like California chicken pizza. Not only does it taste good, I don't use any crazy chemicals at all. It's also cheap. And it's also very low calorie. It's, it's, it's the ideal pizza. I love it. See you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Uh, looks like everything's just going to be neutral again as usual. Well, maybe the mar equity markets might be uh, going down a bit, but yeah, uh, nothing new. Well, except Infinite Ricks. So yeah, so we'll be covering Infinite Ricks from now. In fact, you know what? Uh, I'm just going to just close out Compound Coin here. Sick and tired of that. See you all tomorrow. Thanks. Judson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and here's a Trump picture. <laughs>